Some time back, Televez sent me their indoor antenna, the Bexia, to try. This antenna has actually been around for a couple of years. I have a little trouble remembering exactly which year it came out, but it was uh, before 2020, I can tell you that for sure. It's been around for a while, and I'm just now getting around to reviewing it. One of the reasons that I didn't really review it is the high price of it. This is, without a doubt, the highest priced indoor only antenna that I've ever seen. And that made me wonder if it had a really limited appeal, if it wasn't something that we were going to carry at Solid Signal because it just wouldn't sell. But I had to test it for myself. Uh, we are carrying it at Solid Signal and I'll put the link up to purchase it. And I found it to be a very interesting antenna. This is the Bexia. As you can see, it's not terribly large. It is, by the way, terribly dark. It was the hardest antenna to photograph that I have ever photographed because of its complete blackness. Uh, it was very hard to get a lot of detail from it. On the back, uh, if you can see, there are some keyhole slots here, which allow it to be uh, mounted flat on a wall if you want to. Or there's this little stand, which will hold up really well. It's got a little catch right here that will allow it to be uh, folded back in. The Bexia is designed for people who want a quality premium TV experience, but for whatever reason, they cannot put up an outdoor antenna. Uh, it's not as expensive as the Televez Evoca, I will say that. Um, but then again, this is really an indoor only antenna. I would not try to use this outdoors. It's not very large, but on the other hand, uh, Televez says you can try it flat on a table, you can hang it on a wall, or you can have it on a stand. There's a lot you can do with this particular antenna. The real question was, was it going to perform? And was it going to perform well enough to really make a difference? You can get an indoor antenna at pretty much your, your local 99 cent store uh, for under $10. That's going to perform fairly well because when it comes to antennas, there, you know, there isn't a lot that you can do with a receiving element. It either works or it doesn't. And to some extent, every antenna is going to work a certain amount if you're close enough to the towers and a lot of people with indoor antennas they are very close to the towers so looking at an antenna that costs a lot more than that was it going to do that much better well the funny thing was it did take a look at these charts that i pulled up the signal to noise is really comparable to a much larger outdoor antenna the number of channels that you pick up is really pretty good considering remember that my test area is 60 miles away from the towers. So this is a great way to see how it's going to do in a fringe area. And it picked up almost all of the channels with acceptable signal to noise ratio. This was done on a sunny day and I'm not sure how it would be on a cloudy or rainy day. Uh, I tend to think you would want an outdoor antenna if you're 60 miles away for reasons like that. But on the other hand, in tests it did very well. It also, you know, because it's got a built-in amplifier, it did a great job. You don't have to use the amplifier if you don't want to, but it's really not a big deal. You can actually plug it into pretty much any USB power source. Uh, if you've got one on your TV, that will work just fine as well. So it's not a big stress to just try to find a way to put that amplifier up. All the cords are already attached, so you don't really have to do a whole lot with it. I had to wonder though, how is it the Televez is pulling off this particular bit of magic? Because there's, you know, this is the performance that I would expect from a much larger antenna. You know, it's not on par with something like an HD 8200 XL, but it's really pretty good. For, for something this size, it's outstanding. Well, of course, a lot of that stuff is proprietary and I went looking in the inside of the thing and I didn't see anything that was incredibly special. So it's left to me to really think about how you would do it. First of all, the antenna elements inside do look like they are real high quality. They're designed to pick up the signals that, that you're going to get. If there's a signal out there, it's going to pick it up. It is really well, more or less a standard loop dipole configuration, which is really strong for UHF channels anyway. So it's it's better than, for example, a rabbit ears, which were not really designed to pick up UHF. But really, the magic of this has got to be the amplifier. Remember that signal to noise is the most important measure of an antenna. And so 
you really want an amplifier that does not introduce a lot of noise into the equation. Now, to some extent, you're going to have a shorter cable with an indoor antenna. That's going to help, but that would help all indoor antennas. Having the antenna attached to the cable, that does help because a big source of noise can often be that connection point on the outside. Instead, this is a connection point on the inside where they can control it and the noise level is low. But it's got to be a super low noise amplifier to make sure that you're getting every single bit of signal to noise ratio that you can possibly get out of an antenna. I was really pleased and well, you know, I, I have to ask myself, is it worth a lot more because it costs a lot more? I think for some people, the answer is going to be yes. I don't know if the answer is yes for everybody because there are some people who don't need an antenna that's this expensive. And we have a lot at Solid Signal that are less expensive than this. But check out the Bexia if you want a really premier experience out of an indoor antenna. Let's just say you live in a Manhattan high rise, for example, and you don't want to put an antenna up on the terrace. This is a nice little antenna and it's almost kind of a modern arty kind of thing. It's going to look good on the wall and it will just kind of work better than anything else. You can find the Bexia antenna plus a whole bunch of other antennas at solidsignal.com. If you're looking for an antenna and you don't know what you need, give us a call. We actually do answer the phone. The number is 888 233-7563 and we're there during East Coast business hours. Give us a try.